Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, I'm hanging out with my boy Brandon. What up, dude? What's up? How we doing? We got an FAQ video for you guys, four or five minutes or less, which is also code for Brian's Law Maintenance. This will probably be 12 minutes long. <laughs> Just having fun. But today we're gonna talk about wheelbarrows. Uh, I know it's a really simple topic, but Brandon and I were talking back and forth about how the right tools can make the job go so much quicker, so much more productive. And there are different style of wheelbarrows out there. So we're gonna talk to you guys really quick about those, five minutes or less, right here, right now. Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's on Maintenance. All right, I'm hanging out with Brandon. What up, dude? What's up? How, How we you? been? You good? Good for a Sunday. I know, it's 69 degrees, it's sunny. We just finished up uh, doing this whole cleanup at this uh, commercial client of mine. And Brandon and I, over the last two weeks, we're talking about doing a video for you guys, talking about wheelbarrows. Yep. So why don't we take it away really quick. You had a lot more thoughts than I did since you do more landscaping because I was about to purchase one and he goes, hold on, hold on killer. He goes, before you buy one, what are you doing it? Uh, what are you do using it for? And to me, I was like, dude, it's a wheelbarrow. What are you talking about? And he goes, nay, 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 nay. And so Brandon's a plethora of knowledge. I learned from everybody, including Brandon, only being a second year in business. This guy's killing the game. Um, so why don't you go through some different uh, thoughts we were talking about, like uh, one wheel versus two wheels, right. different capacities, mm -hmm. and just maybe help these guys out in five minutes or less about picking the right tools. Sure. Okay, so obviously you guys know I am a solo guy. Um, I don't have anybody that helps me out. So obviously our time is important, especially the more material we can move the faster we get the job done then we're on to the next job um, so basically here we got the AM Leonard um, this is the 10 cubic foot the flat free tires the wide tire 10 cubic feet this is the 10 yeah but they do have a single wheel but I don't think they have the single wheel with the 10 just because of the capacity of it sure and then this is just like uh, a lot of guys know the standard uh, true temper this is an 8 so um, and this is also the dual wheel, but this is the pneumatic tire. So obviously you see this holds air. And even just putting, a, you know, the slightest pressure on here, these do um, kind of- down a little bit. Yeah, weigh down a little bit. So with these, you know, it's a flat free tire. I can really push on this and they won't move. Right. Um, so this one is great for me, you know, because like the other day, for example, I moved, um, it was like 5,400 yard, yards, <laughs> 5,400 pounds of uh, 10 AA stone. And obviously, you know, I just put it in the dump trailer, backed up, scooped it in, and I was good to go. But with all that weight, these tires did not flex like it would, for example, let's see if I can do this. In here, does it flex a little bit, you know? Yep. So see. Oh, yeah. Well, when we just had uh, this filled up with mulch and just going on soggy turf because we've gotten so much rain, yeah, uh, even these tires really were put bogging some, down. Some effort into pushing it, um, opposed to this, it's just nice and smooth, easy going. And with these um, flat free tires too, you'll see they got more of like a flat um, surface to them, opposed to these are more rounded. Sure. You don't really put divots on the one because everything's been soaked here. So you know we're going through these wet properties and we're not really. Uh, messing up the turf areas with these tires opposed to these but um question for you all right so one question i had which was the one that i was proposing to you was single wheel versus double and yeah. i said well i'm just going to get a which is a good question yeah so explain the difference because you should have both right in my opinion um and i've messed up a few times doing it because i've wasted a lot of time just bringing this one out and having to use just like a uh, flat scoop shovel to go and do like detailed work. Or so with this, fork. right, or pitch fork. Yep. Um, so with this, obviously, if you have some plant material, it's not easy to maneuver through through the beds to get to like the back near the foundation of the home. Um, Compared opposed, to a single wheel. Yeah, wheel. with a single wheel, you can maneuver easily through plants and material and stuff like that and get into the little uh, nooks and crannies of things and make your job easier opposed to this is I got to leave it outside of the bed and then I got to you know move 15 20 feet into these beds at times that's huge right because yeah. I, I was gonna buy a single wheelbarrow uh, and you said well most of my commercial stuff is dump and pour right and so Brandon goes if all of your stuff is kind of more dump and pour it's easy access most of my residential lawns mm -hmm. um, the beds I should say are four feet deep at most Brandon said you might as well just get the largest capacity wheelbarrow right with the double wheel the uh, not pneumatic tires, what are they? The flat free. Flat free tires. And just do a wheelbarrow like this. Uh, this one's from uh, AM Lennard, which is cool. Uh, so every every little thing is different. If you're 
a little bit more detail work though, maybe a eight cubic foot single wheel might be a better option. Yeah, yeah, totally. But um, the thing with the single wheels too, is like if you're moving a lot of weight, um, it is a little shaky as to where this, like, yeah. if I put Sawyer in here right now, you know, guys, 200 some pounds, right. I, I can move him with no effort. You totally. know what I mean? As opposed to if he's in a single wheel, I'm right. like, you know, I'm really fighting it. Especially if but, you have um, new people too. Yeah, that totally. might not use wheelbarrows all Yeah, day. but the biggest thing is too, like I said, being a solo guy, with this being a 10, I can move about a yard of mulch, we'll say, and you know, two and a half, three wheelbarrows, as opposed to, you know, taking a six and moving it and, you know, five wheelbarrows. Right. Um, so it's less time back and forth to get material. Um, Times that by 20 yards. Right. This could take you 30 trips. A lot of time and off. this could take you 50 trips. Right. Or whatever. Mm -hmm. I actually bought this off our friend Mike Bedell. Um, for like 60 bucks when I was like literally just starting out. Yep. Um, just to save a couple bucks because it adds up when you're starting out. But this here, um, it's like 250 bucks. Mm -hmm. And you, there, a lot of the stores don't carry the AM Leonard uh, wheelbarrows. Um, I know our local nursery, Malark's, um, I have ran into these a few times in there. But um, these are like 250 bucks online. And then the freight shifting's like 169 bucks. Yeah. So, I mean, it's like a $400 wheelbarrow, but it's totally worth it, you know, once you factor how much time you're saving, how much material you can move, yep. and then the ease of use with it. Yep. So, I mean, it's totally worth it, it's all investing. By the way, I will say this, because he's not gonna promote it, but uh, Envision, promo code Envision, <laughs> in true BLM fashion, somebody's got yep. a code. Yeah, yeah, we get, uh, he's on the, the Kool-Aid, the 10% the off, yeah. now I'm getting in on it, so. We can say with promo code Envision, 10% off AM Leonard uh, products yep. online. But, I'll, um, I'll make sure to leave the link in the description. We're literally just trying to help you guys save money. And the more somebody's like, why doesn't it, uh, Brian's 20 for 20% off. I'm like, right. well, the more codes we have and the more you guys buy these products, the more we can go back to these companies and try to help you guys save more money, which is even better. Uh, so maybe one day they'll all be Envision 20 and Brian's 20, right? right. So, so capacity, mm -hmm. wheels, uh, dual or single, Yep. Uh, some uh, semi-pneumatic versus pneumatic. Yep. Or, or flat no, the free. flat free versus pneumatic. Yep. yep, and then the build quality right. are some of the bigger points to decide on. All right, guys, so in true Brian's Law Maintenance, five minutes or less, we're probably at nine minutes, so I appreciate it. All right, thanks again for the help. Anytime, thank Hopefully you. this one helps you guys with FAQ. Just landscape supplies. I don't do a lot of landscaping. Brandon thought this was a, also a good topic. So that's it, over and out. If you guys enjoyed this one, shoot it a big thumbs up, and leave me a comment down below. Which kind of wheelbarrow, which brand, which style do you guys prefer? Love to know. Leave me a comment down below and help each other out. Just build some community here. And guys, that's it. We'll catch you on the next one. Have a good day.